All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We are coming to you live here from our studio in South Florida, bringing you another fantastic spotlight session where we show off new games just coming out into the biz. But first off, let's get some introductions out of the way. As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And we are joined today with Ryan Miller. How are you doing today, Ryan? Hey, thanks for having me, fellas. So today we have the pleasure of showing off uh, Valerian, the Alpha Missions by Ultra Pro. And uh, we would like to point out that this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Valerian, the Alpha Missions by Ultra Pro. Yeah. So big shout out to them. And Ryan, I think you had a little something to do with this game, right? <laughs> yeah, I am I am the designer. Uh, that, may, that means I came up with all the uh, rules for the game. It does not mean I did any sort of art or anything because I'm not nearly that talented enough to actually draw pretty pictures or anything like that. Uh, but yes, I came up with the rules and all the card stuff, and I put these fancy numbers on the cards. Very cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, and play tested the heck out of it and, and uh, came up with what I think is a, is a pretty fun co-op game. So what's it like working uh, with an, a big IP like this? In this case, Valerian. The, they did the Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets movie uh, a year or two back. Uh, what's it like <laughs> having, to, having to deal with uh, working with a big IP and incorporating that into a game? So the, the movie is actually last summer. Um, was it really last summer? Okay. It was last summer. But a lot of stuff ha has happened in the past year, so I understand. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, actually, these guys, so I've, I mean, this is, I've been in the industry 20 years. I was a brand manager at Wizards of the Coast, and I dealt with a lot of licensors. I worked with uh, WCW <laughs> on, the, on the card game that Wizards did ages ago. I uh, worked with, uh, and like, Warner Brothers and some other guys. And, and there's, uh, you know, whenever you're working with a licensor, there's always uh, going to be, like, uh, approvals and, and things like that. These guys were these guys are great. I mean, they we needed images for the cards, and they were just right on top of it. We needed references. They gave us uh, access to all their uh, uh, concept art, which was amazing, uh, and as featured on a lot of the the cards and tiles. Uh, so no, they were they were. I mean, and as I was mentioned before, we 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 went live live. Uh, they 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 brought me down to the the studio so I could read the script well before the movie came out just so I could uh, you know start taking notes and kind of gathering ideas for what I wanted to do for the game design and so they they were great partners uh, when we we had a good time and and they were super helpful always like right off the bat uh, you know and and yeah it, you know, that can't be said for all licensors but this one was uh, uh, these guys were a lot of fun to work with. Very cool. So you were talking to us also, uh, again, before we went live live, about how, uh, well, this is a co-op game we're going to be playing today, and this is kind of one of your first forays into publishing a, uh, a co-op game? Yeah, I mean, I've been designing, I've been working on trading card games for most of my career, so I worked on uh, Magic the Gathering and Duel Masters and a bunch of other stuff that I did while I was at Wizards R&D, um, and a few years ago, I played um, Pandemic, and was just blown away. I mean, obviously, like I had played the uh, uh, Reiner Kinesia's uh, Lord of the Rings ages ago, which is one of the earliest, uh, earlier examples of a co-op game. Uh, so I had I was I had known the genre was there, but I played uh, Pandemic, which in my opinion is the gold standard of, of co-op. It is an outstanding design. Uh, and I thought, wow, this is really fun. There's a lot of there's a lot I like about co-op. You know, the, uh, uh, some people don't like competitive games because it's like. I don't know. Some people are like, oh, I just don't like being. I don't like the idea of my my friends basically trying to to you know, troll me for an entire game, <laughs> uh, which you know uh, I, I don't mind that so much personally. But but some people, and I just there's something about a bunch of friends getting together to kind of work together to solve this kind of dynamic puzzle that's happening on the board, just really spoke to me. And so I said, you know, how hard can it be? Famous fast, famous last words. <laughs> And uh, started kicking around my own uh, ideas for co-op design. And it, at first, I mean, there was a lot of differences in designing co-op versus designing competitive. And I think that uh, I, I could go into those. I don't want to bore you guys with it. <laughs> <laughs> but the basic, I mean, I think the biggest ones for me are that, uh, generally speaking, at, in a competitive game, you want what's called a decision tree to be kind of small at the beginning of a game. And the decision tree is just simply the amount of decisions a player has on a given turn. And the yeah. bigger that tree gets, the more complicated uh, their turn is and, and the longer it will take. And so generally with a competitive game, you want to start out, like Magic the Gathering does it very well. My first turn, I play a land, I say go, right? I mean, there's not, and then as the game progresses, my, my decision tree grows as I have decided to, you know, make this crazy deck or whatever. With a co-op game, what you really want to do is foster a lot of discussion and planning between the players. That is really the game of any co-op game, uh, or of most co-op games, I should say is that idea that we're all talking together and somebody has an idea, oh wait, I think we can do this. And somebody goes, oh yeah, that's great. And, and it's that ingenuity and, and uh, uh, strategizing that is really the meat of any 
cooperative game. And that is really hard to design for. <laughs> so, and one of the ways that I found to do that was by taking that decision tree at the beginning of a game and just making it much larger than you would normally do. And because what causes a lot of discussion is having a bunch of viable decisions, viable options for what to do on any turn uh, that are close together in, in viability and strategy. So when you say, well, I could do this for my turn and then another teammate might go, oh, well, or you could do this and blah, blah. And that's what creates that. Uh, and I think the other thing that creates this kind of ingenuity, which is, uh, again, I go to Pandemic just because it's it's so good, but Pandemic sets up a bunch of rules and then hands you these roll cards that let you break some of the rules in specific ways. And it's that those kinds of design choices that make for a lot of player ingenuity because they start to see their cards and they're like, oh, I can do this for one less card. And you can give me cards because of this, this, and this. And it really gives this feeling of agency and, and uh, uh, strategization that is just a blast, right? And so yeah. that was the early lessons right off the bat that I created these very fun co-op games that had none of those <laughs> and were not, <laughs> were not as, as a result, not successful. They were fun operations to do right they were fun like activities but it wasn't coalescing into a real game and so when uh by the time valerian came along as an opportunity uh, sean lashgari at older pro called me up and he said hey we've got the license for this movie i'm like this sounds awesome i love sci-fi i had heard of valerian as a as a uh, comic book because it comes from the 60s and 70s it was you know very influential especially in european sci-fi and of course uh you know george lucas uh notes it as one of his uh you know uh kind of what he, you know got him thinking about Star Wars and that sort of stuff. And uh, so I'd heard of it, but then I, you know, I got to start reading it and, and, and all that stuff. And I thought, here's an opportunity for me to do a really fun cooperative game because the movie is about these two awesome, basically special forces secret agents going around and doing these missions. And I'm like, what if the game was about us working together as a special ops team going around the city of Alpha and completing missions and being chased by enemies and, and you know, all that stuff. And so that's kind of what uh, the game ended up being. Fantastic. So is there anything else you want to tell us about the game before we jump into the rules explanation and then the gameplay? Sure. So it's uh, basically sci-fi action for two to four players. It's a cooperative game, as we've been saying. Uh, I think it's uh, fairly easy to pick up. I, can't, I think we put 12 and up on the box, but I've played it easily with eight and 10-year-olds as well. Uh, yeah. So uh, I say we get going. Sounds good. So I'm going to switch over to the board cam now. We've got everything Great. laid out already. Uh, so yeah. we've got this grid map set up here with A through G on the uh, the vertical and then 1 through 7 on the horizontal there. So we've got a numbered grid, and uh, part of the setup is you're drawing these cards in the Nemesis deck, and we'll get into that in just a second, and that's going to allow you to lay these different tiles on the board. So you see that we have level 3 tiles, level 2 tiles. Uh, what exactly do those levels mean, Ryan? The higher the level, the more dangerous that area is. Now, you, you uh, as you had said, Matt, that uh, so at the beginning of the game, you actually do kind of a randomization of level uh, two and level three tiles. There's 10 level two tiles that are placed and five level three tiles that are placed. All those blank spots there during the game are going to be filled with level one tiles. And so they're like the they're the least dangerous, the least likely to have enemies pop out at you. But they're also the least likely to give you things that you want, right? So it's really a risk-reward thing. Level three uh, is going to more often give you really cool stuff uh, to do. So uh, so by randomizing the board at the beginning of the game, it, it helps make the games much different from game to game. The map is never the same, any game. Uh, so yeah. So as you can see, uh, Matt and Josh have gracefully uh, set up the board before the game. Look at that. Yeah, see that, that Vanna White hand sweep there. Very nice. Um, and we are set up on the mission. Now, the airlock there is in the center, and you probably noticed those two uh, standing figures there, yellow and blue, and those are uh, based on each player. So each player is going to pick a color. Uh, look at those. Yes. We, oh, wow. That's, that's, they are Partially not. Partially transparent plastic. yellow. I just want to <laughs> <just wanna> point <laughs> out. <laughs> they are, in fact, cardboard. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we're going to put those there in the center. Uh, and then we're going to roll. Each player is going to roll a dice. You takes the first turn. So Matt and Josh roll a dice. See what we get. I rolled a one. I rolled a five. All right. All right. So it seems I like you're hot, and I'm not tonight. Based on the rules of numbers, Matt goes first. So uh, each player is going to start with two gear cards from the gear deck. So there should be, I don't see it in the thing, but there should be a stack of gear. There we go. Uh, and yeah, there we go. They've got these transparent they're, tubes on there. They're mildly so, green screening, but uh, <laughs> these are the gear cards that are assigned to me. And uh, these are going to allow me to kind of upgrade my character as the game goes on. 
Right. These are special abilities you can use once you've collected the uh, number of cubes, of energy cubes you see on each of those. And so we'll set those up to the side. Each player's going to get two of those at random at the start of the game. And then each player is also going to start with one mission card from the top of the mission deck. Okay. Uh, and your goal uh, is to get to 20 mission points before the enemy captures you. Now, this is a mission here. As you can see, it's got a level three there. Uh, three mission points is what it says on the bottom left of the screen there. And then some mission cards actually give you bonus points for being completed in specifically named tiles. So one, uh, uh, I'm sure you probably have a couple there. Uh, but those can be completed for the normal three points or whatever points you say, but they get bonus points if you manage to find, like in this case, we've got Meet Underground Contact. And uh, I can't quite read that. This is worth plus two. Uh, this mission is worth plus two mission points when completed in Paradise Alley. Ah, yes. So there are a few tiles uh, that are specifically named Paradise Alley, if you can find those. There you go. All right. So the track uh, that is on the is, is screen right there is used to track both uh, tracking points, which is the enemy, that red cube, that naughty red cube there. Yeah, that's the enemy tracking you. And then the green cube is how many mission points you've completed. Now, if you want, you can do different levels of difficulty based on, like, you're new to this or whatever. And what that really means is uh, that you're going to start with a few mission points. If you want to start, uh, let's start you guys off with three mission points. We're going to start the, uh, so put the cube at the three there. The red cube is, they're going to have zero tracking points. Now, if the red cube ever gets to 20 before you complete the game, you've been captured by the enemy and you lose, okay? Uh, once you get to 20 points, then you, every player has to get back to the airlock, which is that center square, and then you win the game. So that's how you do it, all right? So you got to come in, you got to complete a bunch of mission cards, and you got to get out, and that's how it works, all right? So we're going to start off with Matt's turn there. So uh, at the beginning of your turn, you're going to roll all three of your dice. Okay, so I rolled now, a three, a two, and a five. Awesome. You know, we do have other colors of dice, too, if you want to, like, switch out real fast. <laughs> Why is that? Maybe I... something that will react with the screen. I'm just throwing ideas out, guys. Uh, but <laughs> it's yeah, so that's magical, a... though. That's it's odd. So... That's it's the first magical. I've seen that. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that happen with the camera. So <laughs> congratulations. All right. Well, you know, we're, we're breaking a lot of ground with this game, i got to say. Uh, so at the beginning of your turn, you're going to roll your three dice. And then you're going to spend those dice to do actions. Now, the only actions... <laughs> I like the ghost dice, actually. That's really cool, because you can read the dice pretty easily. Like, you can see the pips there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. I, I say we go with it. Okay. Uh, all right, so every at the beginning of your turn, you rolled your dice, and now you're going to spend these dice to do actions. And you can, do, you can spend... There's a little player card that each player has that tells you what the actions do, but we're not going to worry too much about those actions right now. Because all you can really do is uh, you, you use them to move at this point because the other things you can do with your actions like shoot bad guys or other things are not available to you because they're not on the board. So whenever you move, uh, you, you, you spend one of your dice and you get to move that many spaces. So if you spent your two, then you would get to roll, you would get to move two spaces. Now, whenever you move onto a blank area, you're going to grab one of the level one tiles from the stack over to the side and place it face up and move your guy onto it. Now... You can't, no matter how many pips you had on the die you used to move, you have to, you have to stop moving for that one action when you get to a new tile, when you first discover a new room, because you got to like look around, check out your surroundings and that sort of thing. So, uh, Matt, you have a couple options. You could go into the, some of the level two tiles that are right next to the airlock, or you could break some new ground and maybe uh, go you know, north to where the level two and level three are next to, something like that. But it's up to you guys what you want to do here. So, Ryan, you were telling me before that the higher the level, the more dangerous the spot is. So I'm going to yes. go ahead and be cautious my first round there, and I'm just going to go <laughs> up one and into some uncharted territory there, which is going to be a level one space. So I'm going to turn a level one uh, tile face up there, and I'm in the human battleship green room. So this okay. is a... That isn't green screening. It's not green screening. That's weird. <laughs> wow, that's great. So this is yeah, a level odd. one tile, and it's got a one with that symbol there. So what does that symbol there mean, Ryan? That symbol means there might be a monster in there. Now, as we mentioned, uh, let me point something out. If you want to put a mission card next to that, um, just any mission card, or like your mission card is fine. So you, this is your mission card. It's level three, and what that means is you can only execute this mission in a level three tile. Uh, level two missions can only be done in level two tiles and level one in level one. Okay, it's not like you can do any mission in level three. You can't do that. You can only do in the level of the mission. Uh, so that's why you're going to be looking for these various uh, locations. Like, Matt, you have a level three, so it means that you may want to beef up your guy a little bit and then go to a level three room and try to explore those three mission points. Whenever you complete a mission, you discard that mission card and draw a new one, okay? 
so that's how you keep the missions going. Now let's talk about the, the tile. Uh, that star with the number in it on the tile means that you're going to check to see if there's any monsters in this, and that's when you uh, that's when you use the enemy deck. The enemy deck is the blue deck there, I believe. Let's see. Alien deck? The alien deck. Sorry. Sorry, that, the alien deck. Yeah. That's the yellow deck over here. The yellow mm -hmm. deck. You know, hey, I, most of the time I've played this game was in my own, like, prototypes. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's pretty neat. So whenever you see that, whenever you discover a new tile with that, that icon, you're going to draw that many cards from the alien deck. And you're going to keep any creatures that are the level of your tile or lower. So right now you're going to draw one card. And if it's level one, that guy is now chasing you. So I've got so, a level one Bromosaur, uh, which yeah, is going to be uh, chasing me now. Yes. You so put that you? card in front of you. And now, now we get to talk about how to attack enemies. So whenever you uh, attack an enemy, you can spend any number of your dice, and the damage you do is equal to the total of the dice you spend. And that enemy has a strength of six, if I recall correctly. That, that is means correct. Six damage in order to destroy it. Now, the, uh, the thing about enemies, and the reason you may be inclined to destroy them, is that guy's going to follow you around until somebody takes care of it. At the beginning of your turn, however, the enemy's going to gain tracking points equal to the levels of all guys chasing you. So if that thing is still chasing you on the, on the start of your next turn, then the enemy gains, is going to gain a tracking point because that's a, a, that's a level one creature. And that's how enemies, that's how the aliens gain tracking points on you. Now, the okay. cool thing is, if you don't have the dice to kill that thing this turn, or if you don't want to for some reason... Josh can also use his dice on enemies that are chasing you as long as you're in a straight line of tiles, a straight line of unbroken tiles. A, a straight, let me go back. A straight, unbroken line of tiles from the other person. And so, like, for now, you're, uh, you know, Matt, uh, Josh is in the uh, airlock. Uh, Matt's in the, the uh, Battleship Green Room. So there's a straight line. He could use his dice and just blast that guy if you didn't want to do it. But I think, Matt, you had some other dice left, right? That is correct. I had a quick question for you, though, Ryan, and sure. that is when you say a straight, unbroken row of tiles, uh, I know that that means that, the, that there has to be a tile there. It can't be a blank space, but can the tile be face down? It cannot. Okay. It cannot. Okay. It has to be face up, a, a unbroken face up line of tiles. <laughs> that sounds so <laughs> sci-fi. Uh, <laughs> but it's basically, it's basically line of sight is essentially what we're, what we're kind of replicating with that rule. But it allows players to help each other out, especially now. You can, uh, you know, when you have a monster chasing you, you can move. You can do all. You can even shoot at other people's stuff. The only thing you can't do while you are uh, being chased by enemies is complete missions. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, you cannot complete mission cards. Uh, so, so I had a for, five and a three left over, so I can use both of those dice combined in order to take out this Bromosaur with an attack. Right, and that'll spend the, the remainder of your dice, which means that'll be it for your actions for the turn. And so, yeah, you can just pop that guy in, the, in his big Bromosaur face right now, <laughs> and he just goes to the discard pile, and you're fine. And there you go. Look at that. You're clean. You're clean. <laughs> but there's yeah, one the more thing here. we have to do. One more thing before it's Josh's okay. turn, and this is the Nemesis phase. Now, there's that scary-looking Nemesis deck there, the red deck over there. Yep. At the end of each player's turn, you're going to draw that card, and you'll notice that that each card has a uh, coordinate on it. This one is G1. Now, there's also uh, tracking tokens. And you guys should have uh, put the tracking tokens right next to the, the nemesis, or you should have them somewhere. Yeah, the little eyeball tokens there. And the, the number of tracking tokens that a game has depends on how many players are playing it. I believe for two tracking or two players, I think you get four or five tokens. So let's say you get five, because you know what? This is just a demo. Why not? <laughs> so you're going to... So here's why this matters, and I'm taking way too long to explain, is uh, whenever at the end of each player's turn, they're going to draw one of these Nemesis cards. The nice thing is if there are any uh, tracking beacons that aren't on the board yet, then you are not going to get attacked by this card at all. It's not going to hit you. You're just going to put a tracking token on the, on the designated space, so on G1. Now, if you draw at the end of your turn, you draw a Nemesis card and all the tracking beacons are on the board, that's when that card hits you. Okay? okay. And the way... And the way to get those tracking beacons back is to buy ending a movement on that space, and that'll put the tracking beacon back in the pool. Okay, so basically, it's the the tracking beacons represent the aliens actively trying to tr hunt you guys down, and you've got to keep moving around the city in order to uh, shake them off your tail, essentially. So, so okay. this event here, your team loses three mission points, but you cannot go below one. That does not happen to me because we had enough tracking beacons to place one on the tile. Exactly, exactly. Gotcha. And the more players you have, the fewer tracking beacons you start the game with to kind of help with the difficulty level. So that is it for Matt. It is now Josh's turn. Roll those dice. You can do it, Josh. So what'd you roll there, buddy? Oh, I rolled horrible. That's a one, a two, and a three. I got it straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I told okay. you, hot or cold. 
Uh, I get it. I get uh, it. So uh, what do you want to uh, do? Be... So do you want to explore up? I, or? That's up to you if we should split up or not. So if you go here, I'm yes. thinking about going to this one next turn, which might be premature, but oh. I've got a level three mission. <laughs> nice. You've got a level one mission, so you could actually go to the one right next to you. And if there's an easy monster for you, an easy alien for if you to it's kill, mission control, which you should shuffle that mission control back in the deck. I mean, yeah, <laughs> not, not put it on top of the deck, but shuffle it back in the deck. Yeah, yeah. I get plus one points. <laughs> True gamer, there, Josh. Or, That's so gamer of you to say. I love that. <laughs> or I can go over here. Yeah, you could spend your two, the two year old, and go over there. Yeah, and be within range of you in the same line. That's true. Or you can go here, and then if I open that up, yeah. then you would still be in the same line also. And if you have an easy alien to kill, you could actually resolve your mission mm, all in the first turn. Sure, sure. We'll go, we'll go over here. So I will. You're gonna, so what are you spending? You're spending spend your the one. one. So you I found a hallway. You unlocked a hallway. So what we do when we spend our dice is we just put them on our player card, and that helps us remember, like, oh, you know, the, the card that has all the rules on it. Yeah, you yeah. just put the die there. That says you've spent it all the way. So you found an empty hallway. Look at that. There's nothing there. So cool. So because uh, it's can, empty, he can now... There's nothing chasing him, so he could resolve his mission there? He could resolve his mission. He can also move again. Like, you can move any number yeah. of times you want to and spend, keep spending dice, but to resolve a mission is really easy. You spend any one of your dice. It doesn't matter what the number is on it. You just spend one of your dice and discard the mission card and gain its points. Okay. So, um, there you go. And how do I get energy? To use so my cool some skills. some tiles will, when you reveal them, uh, some tiles will have energy cubes printed on them, and you'll put the energy cubes on there, and you can spend act, uh, dice to pick them up, okay. essentially. So. I'm going to use my two to move down to space. Oh, I like you it. Don't, you don't want to resolve your mission first? No. Well, he's looking for that one space that the mission okay. is better in, I suspect. Okay. So he's moving down there, and he found a human battleship green room. So okay. he found another green room. There's a very green, green ship here. Oh. Well, there's a lot of actors waiting to go on stage. Uh. All right, so you're going to draw. <laughs> and, thank you. That's being joke. All right. <laughs> so oh, you, found you, you found another Bromosaur, but you found a weaker one. There's only a strength four. I only yeah, have three left, though. That is true. So you're going you're gonna to get that chasing you now, and you only have a three left for your I'm going to move die. down south one more spot. Oh, goodness. I'm just going gonna, gonna to just reveal the whole map, Matt. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh is moving down south again, and he found Mission Control. Yes. Oh, so nice. So okay, Mission Control is so, going to go there. Yep. And that's been, that was your third die, right? Yeah. Okay. So it does have one uh, in the stars. So you're going to draw one alien card and check for its level. Uh, I'm good. So this was a level good. three that he revealed. So it does not get placed. That's right. That's right. So I will say that uh, the level three is as high as it gets in the alien deck. So whenever you op whenever you go to a level three tile, you know that you're going to get all the cards you draw if there's any more creatures in there. So that's why they're so dangerous. Uh, but you also uh, put uh, you it also had the uh, energy cube icon on there. And as you I think I saw Matt put the energy cube on there uh, to pick that up and put it on one of your gear. You just need to spend one of your dice. And so in this case, Josh, since you spent your third die, you can't pick it up just yet. Uh, next but turn. maybe next turn you can scoop that thing up and, and start charging up your, your gear. And that is it. Uh, now we go to Josh's nemesis phase. So, Josh, you're going to draw the top card of the nemesis deck and place a, a beacon accordingly. So you got a Katron unit on G6. That's the reason why I'm going south. All the, oh, all the beacons are south. He's a strength 10. <laughs> he's mean. level 5. That's a mean well, yes, nemesis the, right there. The nemesis guards are really mean. So, yeah, you want to keep those uh, okay. tracking beacons off the board when they start to get low. All right, Matt, roll them dice. Okay, so I'm trying to think of what I want to do here, but I get to roll first. So that's good. I rolled a one, a two, and a six. So okay, both ends bad. of the spectrum. If you can, you can see the ghost dots showing up on the screen there. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you so gonna roll? A one, a two, and a six. I'm gonna use my one to go onto this level three space here. Oh, I love it! Kicking the bees' nest. I love it. Okay, so love this it. level three space here. It Let's is the container bay. So it's got two energy cubes, and I'm going to get three three aliens chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got, you nice got one of each level, Matt. Okay, so I'm going to put my two cubes here. I'm going to discard my one die because that is used for me to move. Did and you draw the alien? Let's see what who who's following me. We got a Pithgore. Uh, this is a strength two, and it is you can't move while this enemy is chasing you. Fantastic. You're He's stuck. only a strength two, so that's easy enough. Uh, I've got, I oh geez, Igon Cirrus Jr. <laughs> uh, so this is a level two with seven strength, yep. and then my last guy in pursuit is, oh, geez, Kodor Khan. <laughs> 
This is a level three nine strength. Nine strength. Yep. Yeah, dude. You, you How strong is the that. strongest ones? <laughs> uh, oh, geez. You know, off the top of my head, I don't know. I think that they're pretty strong, though, like 10 or 11, I want to say. So, uh, But those generally are found in the Nemesis deck, so you don't have to worry about them coming out till you've run out of Trek and Beacons. Uh, so, like I said before, Matt, you've got these, you've got this, uh, you know, this ridiculous gang of aliens chasing you right now. Uh, that and now the one guy says you can't move. Normally you could move if you have aliens chasing you, but the pith core says nope. I'm going to keep you locked down here. You can pick up. You can use uh, your dice. Uh, what do you have left, dice wise? I have a two and a six, so I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to use this two to kill the pith core, just because I want to be able to move. I don't. I don't yeah, like that's that. not a bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I've got one die left, and this is a six. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to attack the alien that's chasing Josh right now. That's a good plan, because otherwise, at the start of Josh's turn, you would uh, get some tracking, or the enemy gets some tracking points. So, yeah. Yep. Exactly. And then hopefully that will allow him to complete his mission as well. And I'm hoping that he's going to be a good friend and roll, good. roll well <laughs> and help me take out my seven and my, on, s- my nine. Hang on, Josh. Hang on. Well, you got you to no, wait. I got, I got my roll count. ready. Doesn't count. Doesn't All count. Right. <laughs> so we've got Kodor Khan. Uh, it's an A2. Oh, boy. So on the other side of the map here. So we've got an A2. Yep, there you go. And uh, let's that's see what it. this one would have done. Gain one energy cube when you defeat this. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, it's nice. He's nice. He helped you out, that one. So, yeah, you're going to put that in the discard pile, though, because uh, he's just – Kodor Khan is out there looking for you, but he's, he didn't find you there. So now, Josh, you may roll your dice. Okay, so Josh rolled a one, a three, and a two. Huh, I, it was a much better roll before. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dice god saying you shouldn't have rolled early, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't early. kill any of the guys that are chasing me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but you can... Wait, 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 wait. You can harvest can, the energy? Can. You can. Can't. So if I harvest the energy... Okay, so you harvest the energy and you get to put that on one of your gear. I'm going to put that on my energy cannon. So let's show that off. Because we didn't talk about our gear. So you're activating your energy cannon, which is add plus two to one of your attacks this turn. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, nice. Look at that. So your energy cannon, nice Nice thing about that is once you put a cube on it, it's it's charged. You don't have to like keep putting cubes on it. Some gear do require you to spend the cubes on them. This one just says you get one one attack each turn. You're going to add two to whatever you, whatever you attack with. So I have five. I rolled. I'm going to add plus two. That makes a seven. And I can kill Junior. You can kill Igon Cirrus Jr. Okay, yes. so that's just good. a boy. He was just a boy. He's right. a big scary. Look, like, look at him. That's a big scary boy. Yeah, he he <laughs> he eats his vitamins. That one. Uh, <laughs> so, so that is Josh's turn. I'm gonna flip a Nemesis card there. Okay, so Josh gets his Nemesis and get them D1. So uh, we still have two more. So D1 is going to be placed over there. So we got. I think we got to start taking care of those, Josh. I'm trying. All so right, Matt, roll F- them dice. Hold on. FYI, I want to show off to Josh here. One of my gear cards, if I can activate it, is a signal disruptor. So this allows me to get rid of the tracking beacon when I move through it, not just land on the space. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, that's very uh, cool. And I got now, Reacher uh, Armor is my other card. So, so Matt, um, at the start of your turn, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that is cool. Okay. So, Matt, first of all, uh, you, uh, the enemy's going to gain tracking points equal to the levels of all the guys chasing you, which I think is two guys left. Uh, is just one right? guy left, so level oh, three. Matt. So they're going to gain three tracking points. Uh, now you can roll your dice, if you haven't already. I rolled mm. a four, a five, and a two. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Not terrible. So you could kill. Well, so, yes, I can. Um, I'm trying to think of what's the best thing to do here. So I could use the four and the five to kill it, and then you could complete your mission if you wanted to. Or I could pick up the cube, and that w- I mean it doesn't. I could. I'd rather do the mission. I think so. I'm gonna use my four and my five to to kill. Uh, who is this? Kodor Khan. So I have no more enemies chasing me. No more aliens on my tail. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use my two to go ahead and resolve my mission because I had a level three mission, which I can't seem to find. Oh, it's right in front of me here. So I had right. this. Level three mission, so we're going to gain three mission points, yep. and I'm going to draw a new mission card. That's right. So now you get uh, new orders from headquarters there. And, and so that is, is that? steal the flight plan. So this is a level two, and this mission is worth plus two mission points if completed in the hangar. So looking for a hangar now. The hangar is a level two. So whenever it references that, it is always the same level as the card, right? So it's all, you know that the hangar is a level two 
uh, space. So that, that'll that help you kind of narrow down there. <laughs> so one right, more Matt. thing. Once we resolve a mission on a space, we have to put one of the uh, the mission cubes on there, correct? Oh, that's right. Yes. Hey, thanks for reminding me of the rules of my game here. Uh, <laughs> I totally forgot about it. No, no, that, I, that sounded snarky. I didn't mean it to. I totally forgot about that rule. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, whenever you complete a mission on a tile, you're going to place uh, one of those blue cubes on it. And all that means is that future missions are worth one less point if they're completed on that tile. Right, because the enemy is on to you now, and 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 they're worth less points the more you complete. Right, so every time you complete a mission on that tile, you're going to add another one. So it's minus one for every one. So you generally want to spread out if you want to gain maximum points, but not the end of the world there. So yeah, I <laughs> thanks for reminding me, Matt. I totally forgot. About <laughs> I work All on right. a lot of games, kids. <laughs> <laughs> so now I get another nemesis here. This is B6, and this is our last beacon token here. So all the ones after this are going to. The Nemesis uh, deck is going to affect us. Okay. Yeah, unless, unless you can get any of them back on the board, but I, looking at your board, it does not look good for you, i got to say. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I could dash towards one of them, but... You won't get there. Well, Josh, if you can... Uh, if you, it, well, Josh, did you have the Breacher Armor, or was that Matt? I have the Breacher Armor, but I don't have any energy for it. Right, so if you could run to Josh or to Matt's square, pick those up, and then you could... It uh, depends on how much... Uh, yeah, yeah. Depends on how much... Roll. All right, so now we're over to Josh. And you, do you have any enemies following you, Josh? Nope, I'm good. Okay, you're good. All right. All right, so 3 3 3. You're getting better. You're getting better at this thing. Um, work. <laughs> Matt, do you want me to complete the mission? You or get a token. You technically could do the token now. Hmm. So, uh, just a note whenever you pick up cubes, you only spend one die, and you can pick up any number of cubes that are in that space. So, uh, so. The Theoretically, you could move your three spaces to here, Yep. spend a, a second three to pick up those the two, and then spend your final three to run over here and land on this while discarding the two cubes from your armor. You'd <laughs> get rid of the beacon and then you'd awesome. feel a new area there. I, I, I feel like that's a pretty decent move right there. Oh, well, you don't complete your level one mission, but at the same yeah, time... I don't get the two points, that, um, but I can go back there later. That's true. And now that it then since it's revealed, it's easier f for you yes. to get back there. So so let's spend the first three to go over by you. And who knows, you might even get another mission control. Maybe. So yeah. you're gonna spend your first die to move over here. I'm gonna pick up the two cubes. So you get your two cubes and you put it on your armor. Yep. Nice. And then the last one, I'm gonna spend it. And whenever you move, you may discard two energy from this card. If you do, you don't have to stop moving when you discover a new tile. Yeah. Okay. This is actually straight from the movie. There's that scene where Valyrian has this awesome armor and this like big helmet comes over his head. And he just starts running through bulkheads and bashing through all these different places. So this that card is directly, you know, this 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 is directly for the movie. What you guys are doing here? So I, I definitely remember seeing that in the movie. So I saw bits and pieces of it. So you're so gonna take on, the beacon Josh. token off. Well, hang on, no, not quite there yet. Because remember, you got to place a level one tile for each of those spaces you just went through. Look at and oh, for each one. Or each I could have gone through yeah. the level three, right? Uh, unless you oh, did you go through the level three? And then I would just leave it on flipped, right? No, no, no. Flip you, it. you would flip each one of those. You would flip whenever oh. you land on a tile. You so would do flip. I want to so flip the level armor. three, or do I want to? I think you would rather flip three level one, two two level ones instead of a level three. Three level ones. Three like level ones. One, two, yeah. Three. Well, you're still gonna flip this one regardless. Yes. Yeah. So it would be two level ones or one level three. Well, let's go to two level ones. I I think so. <laughs> so first up is mission control. So we got okay. another mission control, but since you were going in order there, it's it's back here. So can you put a cube on that one, please? Mm -hmm. So also, then we got to look at the top alien, and it is a level two, so that does not follow you. Wow, you almost had an entire alien ship chasing you. That's pretty good. All right, and then it keeps going. So then the next one is another human battlefield green room, battleship green room. So this is a level one. It gets placed over here, and what's the top alien card? Well, it's a level three. So it's a level we're good. three. So he's not nice. chasing you. Strength ten. Oh. <laughs> All right, and then the final one here is we've got a human battleship hallway, so that gets an energy cube on it. And no monster, no bad. And no, well, you, you, what's the top? Oh no, there is no. no, there's no yeah, there is no, no monster there. Look at that! Look at that! Good. What a turn! I ran through and uh, just yeah, this cut my head nice. low. This is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go for a stroll <laughs> through the green. So nice work there. So because you ended your turn on a space with a trekking beacon, the trekking beacon just goes back out. But don't get too excited because it's now. Time for you to see where that trekking beacon gets placed. So, so it's going to uh, go on D5. Yeah, so you guys from now on are going to have to kind of juggle between completing missions and getting those uh, beacons pulled off the board there. So Matt, you can All actually right. get to that one pretty easily. I, I could. 
Do you have any uh, guys following you there, Matt? Uh, I do not. Nice. You guys are on top of things here. I like yeah. it. So I'm going to go ahead and roll. And I rolled a five, a six, and a one. Jeez. Okay. Kind of stinks that I'd have to spend a five or a six to get over there. Yeah. But I'm going to do that. So I'm going to spend my five. And I'm going to go <laughs> one, two over here. So I'm going to flip this tile over. And let's see what I got. So I got a, I got the hanger. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Yeah. Nice. So I got a hanger, and it's going to reveal two of the alien cards. Oh, and you got lucky. You got two level threes. Really? Oh, jeez. Did you guys <laughs> shuffle that deck? <laughs> I did shuffle the deck. Look at that. I might not shuffle it that well, but I shuffled the deck. <laughs> right, so you spent your five, I presume, to do that. Yeah, right. so then uh, since I landed on the spot with the beacon token, that goes away. Yep. Yep. And you spend your one to complete your mission? Then I spend my one to complete my mission. So, so this mission three? is worth two additional points if it's completed in the hangar. Oh, so we get four points. points. Nice. A little blue cube there. So nice. I discard this. I draw a new mission card. So I've got plant the surveillance bug, and this is a level two mission. Did you put the, you did yes, put the did. cube there? You're good. Look at you. So then I'm going to use my six to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go over here. And open this one up because then it'll make it easier for you to get to that beacon. Okay. So Very cool. I'm gonna move in this direction here. So I land on this level two, and I'm going to reveal uh, the submerged habitat. So this is two energy cubes on it, and we're gonna get two aliens coming out and joining and, the party. And your lucky streak has ended. Oh. So I've got another bromosaur, a strength of seven. <laughs> uh, so when this enemy starts chasing you, discard your mission card and draw another one. Oh, okay. all right. You get distracted from uh, a sore there. So my mission card goes away, and I get a new one, which is the data scan. So this is a level one mission. This mission is worth plus one mission points if you complete it in the battleship hallway. It's already have open. So okay. There you so go. So I know where it is. <laughs> and then we've got the alien ship here. This is level two, and then when this enemy is destroyed, you gain an energy cube. Ooh, that's nice. So and is if, that it for your, your dice there, Matt? That is yep. the end of my dice. So one question for you there, Ryan, and that is if Josh destroys this enemy ship, who gets that energy cube? Does he get it you, for destroying it or do I get it? You, you get it because it's chasing you. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to draw myself a nemesis, and we're going to get caught off guard. That's going on A1. All right. And so. Looks like we're doing pretty good there. All right, so yeah, my turn. Yeah. All right. Six, six, three. Nice. All right. So do you want to help me out there, Josh? Oh, hey, hey, Matt, I think you moved that track. Oh, no, that's A1, isn't it? I thought there was a tracking beacon just now. Oh, there is. I just can't see it because you're yeah. a figure. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there's there's one right behind me. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I can't I get a track. I mean, I can. So the Bromosaur isn't too bad because he's only a level one. Yeah. So he's not going to up their tracker too much. have a drink from my massive water bottle here. Let you guys discuss. So it might be worth it for you to just go and hang out over here, kill anything oh, that I comes up. I still need to complete my mission. I haven't got there yet. All right, I'm going to move over to the level two, just north of you. This one here? Yep. Okay. So well, you're going to go one, two, six. three, four. So you're spending your six. You're ending your movement there so the tracker beacon goes away, and you are revealing a submerged habitat. So this is going to have two. On, yeah, oh, cool. We need two on this one as well, Josh. Oh, sorry. And we look for two aliens as well. What two aliens are um, I'm only gonna get one. coming to the party? Only one? Yep. So we had a level three and a level one. So you got your own little bromosaur friend, and that's a level six. Okay. <laughs> He's your sidekick, only he just wants to eat you, I guess. All right. Mm -hmm. So, Matt, I can destroy that enemy ship for you with my three. Okay. So that's bye bye. And then you've got a six left. Oh, I'm going to destroy your bro. You're going to destroy my bro, Monsieur, because you've got your cannon. I got my cannon, so I get plus two, so that's an eight. So eight is greater than seven. That's math. Yeah, that's <laughs> math. <laughs> um, so I'll leave that's... mine off here because it's okay. But you get an energy cube, Matt. Oh, I do. And you can charge your cannon. I'm going to charge my so cannon. So you can shoot my bro, Monsieur, in the face <laughs> on your turn, hopefully. I like it. You were just in the blast radius when the energy popped out of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh yeah, you get a nemesis thing. now. We get a nemesis. So you're getting a megapter, but it's going to F four. Like, 
Bromosaur Buddies. I like that name. That's cool. <laughs> Bromosaur Buddies. Oh, look at that guy. Boy, luckily he wasn't chasing you. Jeez. Yeah. 12 strength. 12 strength. Whenever you move more than three tiles, discard this card. Okay, so he's just really slow. You can, yeah, you can run away from him if you manage to. No. <laughs> Chat, I'm sorry, but my power got knocked out for a while. Please start playing again from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I rolled a one, a four, and a five. So what's your guy's strength? Six. So I'm going to use my four, and I'm going to kill him. Okay. You're welcome. So he's gone. So then I'm going to use my one to harvest the two energy over here. Okay. And that's going to allow me to charge up my signal disruptor, which is whenever you move through a tile with a tracker beacon, remove that beacon. So I don't need to stop on it now. Okay, so you can just move through it. Yeah. But we don't have anything yet. So do you want to get that token next to me? So we've still got one more. Yeah, or do you want to start heading south or something? Um, you, I think I'm going to... I'm going to... I have a five movement left. Nothing's chasing me. Nothing's chasing Josh. Do you want to go to the human battleship hallway to do your mission? Yes. So I'm going to go... Oh, I... Uh, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go here. So I'm going to go... There's another... No, that's a... Yeah, that's a different room. one. I thought so, there was a... Hmm. So it gives me what if I complete it there? It gives me plus one mission point. So I can go there and get it, and then next turn if I roll high, maybe I can get to that tracker beacon, or I can just go down that direction. I think I'm just going to go down in that direction. I don't okay, think the fine. one mission point is going to be too worth right. it for us right now. So I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five five right there. Okay. Not going to have anything new pop up, and that's going to be the end of my turn. I'm going to draw one from the Nemesis deck, so that is going to be the Cert Mercenary, so that's going to go on D2. So D2. Alright, so we have two I should have went right there. Oh. Hindsight's 2020. <laughs> so Josh is rolling. He rolled a one, a two, and a three. That's like the third oh, time you've rolled that one, two, the three. the third time. Yeah, this is yes, you have all the large straights by now. Yeah, well, um, okay, so... Let's let's move that one into uh, A1. A1. You don't want to collect the cubes here? It's up to you. Sure, I'll collect the cubes. Okay. So you're spending the one to collect the cubes? I'll, I'll use my two to... Two is going to explore over here. Since you're ending your turn on that, that's going to go away. And you're going to draw a new level one location. You found a hallway. Okay. Hey, to nowhere. Hallway to nowhere. To the so edge of the... And I'm going to spend my three... To move over to the mission control. Okay, so you're going to go one, two, three over there. So you're setting up to go for that beacon, maybe. Get my freaking mission done. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> <the mission. laughs> we'll have to get the mission done. So that's the end of your turn. Mission. You get a nemesis. <laughs> get C5. them. So C5, and then, uh, so that effect doesn't happen. So this is just going to go on C5. So okay. another yeah. one right in the line of sight. That's good. And then it's the beginning of my turn. So nothing's chasing me. I'm rolling. I rolled a one, a four, and a five. I feel like I've rolled this a few times, too. Hmm. Too bad you aren't playing Yahtzee. You'd be killing it. Killing it. <laughs> All right. Nice. So one, four, five. I'm going to use the one to go into this space over here. Okay. So I'm going to remove this beacon, and I'm going to reveal a new area. And I found a hallway. Okay. Yeah, lots of hallways in the city. Okay. Nice. I mean... It's like the ship from Spaceballs. It just keeps going and going. <laughs> um, um, what's your? You got four and a five. Yeah, I'm actually thinking of going over here. And yeah, that's what I was thinking. Then you can get your thing and then move over there on your turn. Yeah. So I'm gonna move <laughs> one, two, three, four, absorb this tracker beacon, and then I'm nice. gonna go ahead and flip this location over, and I revealed a container bay. So this is a level three, two energy cubes, and three aliens are going to come join the party. Uh, two yeah. level twos and one level one. Okay. Oh, so I'm a little lower. worried about their strength. What's their strength looking like? Seven, seven, four. Ugh. So you can kill one of them. I can. <laughs> I can kill yeah, any one of them, really. So when this enemy starts chasing you, discard your mission card and draw a new one. So I'm going to get a new mission card. Okay. So I'm discarding that one, and I am drawing a plant explosives. So this is a level three. I'm on a level three. three. That could be nice. Just got to get um, rid of those enemies. Uh, aliens sure those off each one as you do them. Yeah, so I got a Bromosaur. So that's the one that reset it. That's level one. Uh, we got a level two here, which is 
Junior again. He's got no effect, but he's a seven strength. And then we've got the enemy ship here. This is four strength, and this is a level two as well. So I think the best thing to do here is I'm going to spend my five to kill this level two. With your energy cannon. With my energy cannon. Yeah. So long, Junior. He keeps <laughs> popping back up, though. So I don't know. You can't keep him down. Junior's. Mm. All right. So Junior's done. I still have these two enemies coming at me. So I want you to keep that in mind, Josh. Yeah. And we've got uh, something going on to G2. So we've got one on G1 and G2 and G6. So we've got a lot in a straight line down there. Yep. <laughs> it's a pretty gnarly area down there. So we might want to start making our way down there eventually. All right, so it's my turn. I'm going to roll some dice. Josh rolled a one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Again. <laughs> Are you kidding me with this? <laughs> 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 I'm just... <laughs> I don't know what the odds of this are, but it's a thing. That's pretty crazy. Man. Uh, so I can kill the... F <laughs> I'm going to spend the one to complete my mission. Okay. So you complete your mission. So I get two points. So you get two points, and you're going to add one uh, of the blue cubes over to this area as well. And your new mission is you got map the area, and that's just a level one. Okay. So wherever, wherever I want to do that. Okay. So... Map the area... Map the area. So you've got a two and a three. So I could kill the level two for you with yeah, my two. That's okay. That would be great because the level one, I don't care. Up it by one. B okay. BFA. So, so I'll kill your enemy ship. And then you also get an energy cube for that. I do, which is nice. Yeah. I don't really need it for anything. You can keep as much extra energy on there because. Yeah, you, you should have bought a lottery ticket. I agree with the. Uh, <laughs> so Today's number is one, two, or three. Yeah, I c could have. <laughs> yeah. So that leaves me with three left. Yeah, and you could actually go. That's perfect yeah. for if you want to go explore that area. I, I think I'm going to explore the new area because I could do my mission wherever. Okay. Well, only on a level one tile. He just no. told everyone that's a combination of your luggage? That's crazy. <laughs> it's a combination of my luggage, too. So you're going to get rid of that tracker beacon, and you're going to password. You're going to find the human battleship green room, so maybe yeah, one alien there? Uh, no alien. No alien. That's got a level, level three. You got a level three there. So Kodor Khan, so long. Not uh, not gonna change it, I feel I feel that space balls quotes are appropriate for this. I I think so. <laughs> All Depends right. on which one you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. Also. <laughs> so that's the end of my turn. So We're nemesis. Flip over, time. Uh, nemesis. E seven. So oh, e e seven, all the way over here. They're yeah, starting cool. to spawn a little further away from us, so this is getting a little scary. But I got my breacher armor back. So oh, so I you, can, go, you could run like a madman. I could go run like a crazy guy <laughs> to get something, hopefully. And reveal everything. Yes. There okay. you go. End up with like a train of uh, enemies chasing you afterward. All right, awesome. Matt, beginning of your turn. You have the Bromosaur still on you, so we're, we're going to up the oh. enemy tracker by one. That is true. So it's at four. So I rolled a 5-2-2. Two, two. So Why are you wearing a 2-2? Two, two? <laughs> I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and I am going to kill the Bromosaur using the five because I've got the energy cannon. Okay. Those things come in handy. Yeah. So, you can complete your mission. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna complete my mission with one of the twos. So we're at fifteen. You get a new mission card. I get a new mission card. So my new mission card is going to be. And can you put the blue cube there? Yep. Plant surveillance bugs. That's a level two mission. Um, it's getting close there. All you got to do is get twenty mission points and then get everyone back to the airlock. Hmm. And you are, and you win. Okay, so I'm going to... Is there any available level twos? There's one right there. There is. So There's I, nothing... Well, you have a two left? Yeah. Did you put a blue cube on your... Yeah, you it's two? behind him. Oh, okay. I'm just checking, you guys. Just no. checking. Sure. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use my two to move up two spaces yeah, to over I'll here. Go. And okay. that will be the end of my turn. So right. we're going to get... It? A new nemesis on F7, and this is the last of those tokens. So Jeez, if you don't get one, there. if you don't get rid of one, Josh, we are going to get attacked, which might not be a terrible thing. We might just want to do our missions. Uh, it wasn't one, two, three. It wasn't one, two, three. It's six, four. Oh, one. Remember, Matt, you, you can't complete missions as long as you have monsters, uh, aliens tra uh, chasing you. That's true. So, so yeah, so yeah. that's the one you just did, right? Yeah. This is the no yeah. I, I discarded the wrong one. All right, so. Judge. <laughs> I could complete this mission. Or. To get a point. So what would that put us to? That would put us to 16 points. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm going to spend this one to do that. So it goes 16. 
You map the area. You get a new mission. So you got a level three mission now. Okay. Take out the what soldiers. Did... This mission is worth plus three mission points if completed in the throne room. And we haven't seen the throne room. We anymore. have not seen oh, the throne man. room. Yeah, it's a scary room. I'm just going to tell you. But there is... Uh, so the level threes that are revealed already have the minus one on it. So it would be worth two points if you go and complete yes. it there, which would take us to 18 points. And then if I completed my mission on the next turn, then we would have 20 points. Okay. But that's not fun. <laughs> what winning it's, is it's fun? not fun. Josh, it's Josh not likes fun to win in style. I want to win in style. Um, <laughs> I'm debating if I just want to put my breacher armor on and run over to the spot over here. What? You're terrifying me. <laughs> terrified you? I mean, you could do it. I won't say no. I'm going to spend my four. Okay. I'm going to activate my breacher armor. Oh, jeez. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Why through the level three and not the level two? <laughs> oh, it's true. Uh, if there's a throne room, I can go back and beat it. That's true. If there's a throne room, you can go back and beat it. Okay. That or Josh has the traitor card. So I mean, that's, it's, uh, I that's a possibility. It's, it's the throne room. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so this is going to spawn three cubes and four aliens on it. <laughs> this is this is how we die to Thunderous Dude, you're Applause. you're going to have so many fans following you, all these aliens going, Yay, Josh! We love you, Josh! <laughs> so let's see. Uh, that's yours, by the way. So we got Kodor Khan, strength 10. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> We've got Bulan Bathor, strength six, and when this is destroyed, you can destroy an enemy with five or less strength chasing you. Uh, we've got a Bromosaur, level three, or three strength, and a Bromosaur, three strength. Okay. <laughs> so this. And then we're going to flip right, over two so, yeah. level ones. And then we're going to flip over two levels. So, yeah, go ahead and arrange your entourage there. <laughs> we got the bros. So we got a human battleship green room there, so that's going to be a one alien. Uh, that's a level two, so we are good. Okay. And then the last level one there is going to be the human battleship hallway, so you don't draw any aliens, it just has a cube on it. All right, cool. So do you have any dice left? Um, yeah, I still got the six left. Oh, I, nice. I could add my energy cannon, but it still kills this guy. So which, which was what does it do, Matt? When I so kill? So when you kill this guy here, uh, he you, you get to destroy one with uh, five or less strength for free. So I'm gonna kill yeah. this bro, bro. Yeah. With him. So basically, you blasted the first the Bulanbathor, and he fell over onto the other guy, <laughs> squished him. So. <laughs> so, so I only have two guys chasing me for all that. It's a level three and a level one, ten yeah. strength and three strength respectively. So not too bad. I, I think we we can manage this. You and thought that, that's, wrong. That's it. Um, and then we're gonna flip over. And we got my token back. We did. So that's going on A5. A5. Nice work, Josh. I knew you could do it. So I get to roll now. Did you have a, a guy chasing you, Matt? I can't remember. I do not. Oh, man. I'm like your buddy over there. So I rolled a 2, a 4, and a 5. Hmm. What do I want to do here? <laughs> so you've got a 10 chasing after you. Ten, I, I should be able to take care of myself. Should be. Um, so the question is, do you want to take out the three for me? First and foremost, I am going to complete my mission. Okay. So I'm going to use my two to plant the surveillance bug. We're going to get two points for that. Uh, blue cube, cube goes on there, and I draw a new mission. So this is a level three mission for plant explosives. So I got that going for me. I am now going to use my... One, two, three. I'm going to use my four. Where are you going? To go hang out with Josh. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. You can't shoot through that. Oh, I can't shoot through that. You can use your five to get there, though. Okay. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I lied. No, I cannot. You are a liar, liar. Pants I, I, on I fire. did lie. Couldn't you, couldn't you use the five to, to reveal that level two? I could. I could use the five to reveal this level two. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Yep and get some more aliens chasing us, because that's what the cool kids are doing. So I'm going in the docks. So that's one energy cube and two aliens to the party. Um, you're only going to get one, because one of them's level three. So I'm going to get a level two Kodor Khan. So this is a strength eight. Okay, so if you move into three different tiles in a single move action, discard this card. So this one I could run away from. Yes. Yeah. And then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to use my five you to... You have a four left, technically. Yeah, I have a four left. So I'm going to use my four 
to blast your Bromasaur, okay. take him out. And your guy is a level what? My guy is a level three. Where did I put him? I put him over here. So I, it's a, he's a level two. I'm sorry, strength it's eight. eighth. So can't do anything. So it's my turn. It is your turn. Uh, uh, first, we need to do the nemesis, and this one's we... I didn't get to resolve any. So this okay. is the first one that's going to affect us. Okay. Oh geez. What so you got this there? sudden fall. Okay. And this is discard the top card of the nemesis deck. Move to that card space. If there is no tile there, place a level three tile there and resolve its uh, icons. So this, so, is, is, uh, as you can see, is an event, and that just means that you do what the card says and, it dis and it's discarded as opposed to a, uh, an enemy that, that actually chases you. So, yeah. So we're moving to C7 here. So C7. It's all over here. C7. C7. There is a tile there. Yep. So I'm going to level two. jump over there to C7, and this is the Paradise Alley. So Paradise Alley, we're going to reveal three aliens there. Oh, boy. <laughs> you guys, we're doing so well a turn ago. <laughs> oh, they're all three level twos. Three level twos. So I, I got Junior, Strength 5. I got Kodor Khan. If I move into three uh, different tiles in a single move action, discard this card. And then I got another Junior. So I can get rid of two of my guys by just running away. Okay. So I, I'm not too worried about you that. You can't really run anywhere. Uh, well... <laughs> Let's, that's true. <laughs> so Josh rolled a two, a three, and a four. Well, Josh, okay. first you get you gain tracking points, right? Oh yeah, I get tracking points. I get three tracking points. One, two, three. All right. So to kill two, this three, guy. Four? Hey, you're moving up in your in your straights. There. Yeah, Those, I, I moved up. I plus one. <laughs> uh, so ten. So you need a ten. You got plus two, so you only need eight combined. Which requires all three dice. Which requires all three of your dice. And then I'm going to get the snot beat out of me in terms of tracking points <laughs> on my turn. Yep. Uh, I will just kill him with all my dice. All about sequence. Okay. So that's <laughs> so going to be the end of your turn. We get a lovely nemesis now. So this is going after you. You got a level four strength eight. Uh, discard the top card of the Nemesis deck. Move to that card space. If there is no tile there, place a level 3 tile there. So oh, you're going to be moving to F2. So there's no tile there, so that's a level 3 tile there. <laughs> you got kidnapped. I, yeah, he, he kidnaps you. Takes you away. So this is someplace that you would take me. And then and he gets that card chasing him, correct, yeah, Ryan? that's right. That's Jeez. right. So you're going to the <laughs> gaseous land. I hear it smells great there. Yeah, he just... So he's going to spawn three enemies... Three uh, three aliens there. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Josh? <laughs> so, you got an enemy ship. <laughs> Josh so had to bust through all them. <laughs> all those tiles. You got a pith core. He's <laughs> only a strength two, but you can't move when he's there. Okay. And then you've got Junior, who's just a strength five. Junior's back. Junior's back. Okay. So that's the end of your turn. It's the beginning of my turn. I feel like this is a very weird clan of aliens where they just name everyone Junior. We're gonna get eight. Tracker points now. I think it's the same guy. I think it's just Junior. He keeps <laughs> popping back up. You knock him down. Uh, eight points. Up. That's really bad. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's it. They jumped up to fifteen there, just um, like that. You need to win this turn, or we lose. Remember, you got you can't win this turn because both of you have to get back to the airlock. You have to get twenty points and get to the airlock to win. So um, you're not going to win this turn no matter cause, what. Because I'll add nine nine points when I. <laughs> <laughs> when my turn starts. <laughs> Remember, this is Josh's. I want to win with style. I do. I I'd rather lose with style. I was gonna say, yeah, lose, lose. You know, go out with a flash, right? Instead of uh, winning with a. I don't oh, know. Matt, you never moved my token over here. So, FYI, I rolled a one, a one, and a two. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. So I'm gonna <laughs> use my one to move over here. This is going to reveal a mission control. So reveal one alien there, Josh. It's level two, so you're good. Okay. Energy cube goes on here. Okay. Then I'm going to use a two to move one, two spaces. So now because... Oh, no, it's a single move action. Yeah, you need to use a higher die than the two there. You could combine... Oh, no, you can't combine dice, actually. Sorry. Yeah, to move. You can't. So, yeah, so we, technically you needed a three or better. So we lost. Yeah, I think I think we lost. <laughs> you got captured. Hey, you know it's okay. You guys are rookies. 
you know, your first mission isn't always going to go that well, but uh, I think you guys work together pretty pretty well there. Um, I actually but, think we have time for a second game if you want to join us, Ryan. Yeah. Maybe maybe awesome. we could do better this time. Yeah, and I think, Josh, you, you guys are like the buddy cops, right? Like, Josh is like the brash new cop, and Matt <laughs> is the, like, experienced guy who just wants to retire. And uh, so, <laughs> if anything, you know, just go with that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's reset this board real quick. So, unfortunately, when that turn ended, it would have passed over to Josh, who would have gotten a whole bunch of uh, tracker points, which would have ended the game for him. So we're going to reset here, and we're going to go and uh, try that one more time. <laughs> I should have just stopped at the throne room, and that kept running. Actually, no, I didn't get any more baddies from that. I just Remember, you're the one that's like, I want to run through all the stuff. I did. Yeah, that's... Uh... That uh, uh, Josh got kidnapped. Apparently, he looked at that alien the wrong way. Yeah, he brought me to his uh, gaseous chamber. That's uh, <laughs> he, got, he got kidnapped in the gaseous chamber. Maybe he actually was just like, I want to bring you to my home, I want to, I want to lavish you with gifts. Like, maybe he just wanted to be friends. You never know. He could, that's just that's just their, their way there. We don't, we don't know. You don't know, dude. So many, so many aliens out there. <laughs> All right, so for everyone who – we didn't really talk about how the board sets up, but we get to show that off real quick because nice. we need to set up the board. Uh, level yep. three, level two, level two. That's a level three. That's a level three. While they're doing that, I'll go ahead and kind of run through for our viewers uh, what's going to happen here. So they're setting up the board for a new game. Uh, at, at, uh, they're going to shuffle up the red deck, which is the Nemesis deck, and that deck has uh, a whole bunch of baddies on there. Yep, we're going to place the airlock in the center, always in the center. You're going to shuffle that deck up, and you're going to draw uh, 10 cards to put 10 level 2 uh, tiles face down on the board. Now, each of those Nemesis cards uh, has a uh, coordinate on it, and that'll tell you where to put that face down level 2 tile. Then you are at, uh, you're going to do the same thing, but uh, for level 3 tiles, you're going to do 5 level 3 tiles, and then, you're, and then your board is set up. And yes, right. it could have been a female alien. Yeah, as was pointed out by one of the viewers there. It could have been a female. Maybe, maybe the alien just... just Liked your swagger, Josh, in that in that uh, <laughs> in that breach it's, armor. It's their equivalent of pheromones or something. <laughs> Gasers. Oh, there you go. The gaseous yeah. chamber was really her pheromone den. There it is. There it is. Yeah, okay. I do have. Well, you know, I do have my my humidifier too, so I could really just you know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to draw the top five Nemesis cards here, and this is going to be where we place the level three tiles. So we've got E3, and I'll place it there. So E3. Then we've got C4, okay, right in the middle, starting off good. <laughs> then we've got D7, D7, um, A3, B6. If you just join us, not playing Battleship. We're the last just... one is G3. Battleship or bingo? <laughs> you know, uh, when I was a kid, we used to play bingo uh, for candy bars during Thanksgiving get-togethers. And uh, whenever B4 was called, my uncle would always say, time began, and then laugh because, you know, it was like dad jokes, uh, the original dad joke. And when I was doing this game, I couldn't help but think of that. Every time I placed a tracking beacon in B4, I'd be like, time began. And I'm like, ah, Uncle, uncle Ray, <laughs> Uncle Ray. <laughs> okay, B7, then we've got C5, then we've got D5, then we've got B4, not after. <laughs> there it is, B4, time <laughs> Okay, so we, oh man, we, we got a nice cluster set up right in the middle. Yeah, yeah. E4. Okay. And then once you put all five of those out, then you're going to go ahead and shuffle, or all, all the level twos and level threes out, you're going to shuffle those cards that you use to uh, shuffle the those cards back into the Nemesis deck because they go back in the game there. Okay, so we've got a very interesting shape board right now. There's only oh. one way of the airlock to a level one. <laughs> yeah, that could have been bad, eh? Yeah, imagine getting surrounded first turn. It's like, I have to Matt, go to level would you like to use the blue three. dice in the green screen cam, or do you want the transparent dice? Uh, let me use the blue dice in the green screen cam. I, I thought of this like later. I was like, but we've spent all this time. <laughs> For consistency's sake, we, we continue so doing it that way. All right, so, so, yeah, so we're going to switch like character colors. You're going to be blue this time? Yep, and you could be yellow. So I'm going to be Valerian, and you are going to be... Oh, what's her character's Orlean. name? 
Laura Lee, Laura. that's right. All right, and what gear? We both start off a mission, so Matt, what's our missions? Uh, so my mission is going to be reroute incoming spacecraft. This is a level one, and this is this mission is worth plus one if completed in the mission control. And Josh, yours is going to be download cargo manifest. So this is a level two, and this is worth plus two mission points if completed in the docks. Okay. Whoops, I just dropped it on the floor. Yeah, just drop <laughs> everything, Matt. You don't need them. Uh, Matt, here are oh. your... Can't have nice... This is why we can't have nice games. So I got the same exact two gear cards. So I got the energy cannon and I've got the really? signal disruptor. Reshuffle, reshuffle, reshuffle. Yeah, uh, I'm reshuffling. You got the exact same thing. Yeah, let's <laughs> have some different stuff. <laughs> You're allowed one mulligan, right? That's in the rules. I'm playing my game designer card and saying reshuffle, reshuffle. Okay, so I got the energy cannon. <laughs> sure. All right. But I got I got the reflex enhancer, and so this okay. one is before you roll your dice for the turn, you may discard two energy cubes from this card and get an additional die this turn. Ooh. Fourth die, not bad. That's nice. I like that. Oh, I got the heavy five. weapon. Oh, this is three energy cubes to activate it. And this is, you add plus five to one of your attacks. And I got the AI assistant. So AI assistant here is going to be whenever you would draw a card from the mission deck, look at the top two cards of the deck and draw one and discard the other. So oh. once I get five energy, I'm good. I don't have to spend energy. Right. That's how I was last game. I didn't have to spend energy for anything. So, Josh, you're going to go ahead and roll with me, and we're going to see who goes first. I rolled a one. one. Six. Okay. Our tides have changed. Yeah, don't, yeah, that's the one six you got for the game, though, unfortunately. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably true, Ryan. <laughs> just, you just wasted your six, man. <laughs> so, Ryan, are we starting off with three points again? or? You know, it's how hardcore do you want to be? You want to start I, off a little higher because you guys got got roughed up in that last one. No, there? Maybe you guys got, I, I, we need to pride. redeem ourselves. Yeah, I've got too much pride for that. <laughs> yeah, start oh. with three then. Start with three. There, then. there we go. Three, five, six. Um, so Josh rolled a three, a five, and a six. So what do you want to do with that? Not horrible dice, and I need a level two mission. You might want to start out on a level two because you could probably take care of two aliens that come your way. Yeah, I, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Which way do I want to go though? <laughs> I'd South? say, I would say go to the right because I'm probably I'm sorry yeah go this direction so okay. camera right and I'm gonna go camera left and then we could still be in range of each other. Okay, so I found the hangar. Oh, that's what you needed. No, in the docks. Oh, right. the docks. Okay. Oh, so. the docks. Um, so you're gonna get two alien cards drawn. One's a level three, so he goes away. So you only get one. You found got Junior. You found Junior, a level five strength Junior. <laughs> Can't so, keep Junior down. Are you gonna beat up Junior? Um. Yeah, let's kill Junior. I, I have a five here. So you've got a It'll six left. Bad. What would you like to do with that six? Do you want to explore another level two? You could explore that level one over there, and we could. Try or I could just like finish the mission along. and snack at the points. That's true. Just go mission crazy. Time wise, that might be better, just because. Yeah, let's let's do the mission. So I'm gonna complete the mission. So you complete the mission. You're gonna get uh, two victory points for that, or mission points. And then I get a new mission card. Uh, link up with command group. So you're gonna link group. up with the command group. This is a level one, and that is if the mission is worth one mission. Uh, I'm sorry, this mission is worth plus one mission point if completed in the human battleship green room. All right. Okay. And you put the blue Lots cube on that. Cube. I did not put a blue cube. There we go. And right, so that's, that's going to be the turn. end of your turn. We get Nemesis card. Nemesis. So this is going to go on E7. E7. Okay. So you can start making your way over to that. Yeah. Revealing some yeah. tiles. You guys hear me okay, by the way? Yeah. We can hear it. Okay. I just got a frozen screen here, so I didn't know if you guys could hear me. Uh, oh. You're good. Okay, All right. cool. So I'm going to rolly, rolly, roll. And I rolled a two, a two, and a three. It's not a one, a two, and a three. No, it's not. <laughs> Slightly upgraded. So I'm going to use one of my twos to Matt, go. Oh, what? You want to go over here? Yeah. So I'm going to use. So you could, yeah. I'm going to use my two to go over here, and I am going to reveal level one. So I. Res oh, look at that, Josh. The human battleship green room. Awesome. That's what you <laughs> need. So one alien. Oh, and you found a bro. I found a bromosaur. He is a Bro's seven strength, there. and when this enemy starts chasing you, discard your mission card, draw another one. So my mission card dr goes away. And my new one is going to be Plant Explosive. This is a level three. Uh, I cannot kill the Bromosaur because I only have five left, and he's a seven strength. So, so what shall you do? I don't know. Do I want to reveal some stuff? I'm going to use my two to jump down to this level two over here. So, uh, 
Go big or go home. Okay. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> Wait. All right. You're the you're the you're the veteran cop. You're not supposed to be brash and. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josh, I revealed the hanger for you. I don't need the hanger. Oh, yeah, you don't need the hanger. You still don't need the hanger. You need the docks. I can't <laughs> you got, you got hanger. two level twos now. Okay. You really want it to be the hanger. Well, you, you could get rid of these guys decently. So, I said, <laughs> oh, these are the runaway guys. So, two Kodor cons, one a level, uh, one a strength nine, one a strength eight. They're both, if I run three or more spaces in a single move, they go away. But you can move. So I'm going to use... That was my two. So I'm going to use my three to go run boop, boop, boop back to the airlock. Kodor cons go away. So I discard them. I like, I like your uh, running sound effects, by the way. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's what it sounds like. It's a plotting boop, boop, run. Boop. All right, boop, so, boop, boop. so I've only got my Bromasaur left. So you're going to draw the top <laughs> Nemesis card? New Nemesis. It's before, not after. Before. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good times. Okay. And Josh passes to you. It's a turning point in the movie. Ryan, the veteran cop, wants to show off the rookies. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh rolled a one, a three, and a four. You're getting better from your one, two, three. I'm getting better. Yeah, really so are. you have a seven oh, chasing you. I do. And look at that. You have a three and a four. That's uh, That's seven. You don't really get to move anywhere, though. I just need to move one space over. So. Oh, that's true. So I will kill your Brontosaur. Bro, okay. And I'll take that one and just kind of plop over here because I need to go to the green room. And nothing's chasing us anymore. You can't redeem anything. You're out of movement. Yep. So we're going to get a new nemesis, and this is going on G4. I can't really make a pun about that, but... Uh, Talk about the show. <laughs> you might want to. <laughs> so G4 goes over there, and then it's my turn, so I'm going to roll. Yep. I rolled a one, a two, and a four. Oh, Good man. Good rolls, Matt. Man, I'm doing <laughs> great today. So where do I want to move to? Go get the token? Yeah, I think I'm going to go get the token. So I'm going to use my four to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to get that beacon, tracker beacon, and I'm going to reveal a new level one. So I found a hallway. Ooh. Where's the energy? I don't know. I need energy. Same. So I use my four. I still have a one and a two. You can just start exploring down there. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use my one to explore down here. And I found a human battleship green room. It's going to spawn one enemy, possibly. Oh, uh, you found a bro. Oh, darn. And he's three strength. <laughs> oh, he's three strength, but I've only got two left. <laughs> uh. The little guy, he's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened here? What do I want to do? Do you want to move one more spot? Then I can shoot Yeah. more. So I'm going to use my two to move over here. I'm going to reveal oh, another, yeah. another area, and I found mission control. Okay. So that's going to be a one cube and one alien, maybe? Uh, it's a junior. He's a level two, so... No alien. No alien. So you're good. And no, we, that's the wrong color. There is a cube there, though. There's so that's a, cube a good there. thing. <laughs> so you can pick that up and get your energy cannon. No, I can't. Next turn. Next turn. Yeah. And so I get a new nemesis, though, and we got an A6. So A6 is going to get one. A6. All right. So how many do we have left? How many are on the board? Three are on the board. We've got two left in reserves. Okay. FYI. So <laughs> five, six, and a three. That's a good roll. And what's your guy chasing you? A oh, three? Yeah. A three. So I can kill that easy. Yeah. So I'll kill him. Okay. So bro goes away. I will spend one of my fives to do my mission. My Seems like a waste, but yeah. Um, and since <laughs> I'm in the green room, it's extra, worth extra points, so it's two points. Okay. Boop, boop. And I get a new mission. Your new mission is going to be take out the soldiers. This is a level three mission, and this mission is worth plus three points if completed in the throne room. So this Josh is, is, this is where it, This is where it all goes horribly wrong. This is again. where it all goes horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now, do, do I go to the level three room next to me? I don't know if you want to start with the level three room because I'm not going to be able to help you that much. I can't take out three aliens for you. Might so hunt gonna... down some cubes in like level two rooms or something. You can start. You, you, you can move over point. here and then reveal that one so that way next turn I can get to that beacon and then we have like a really nice long sure. thing open. Sure, I'll go over there. Okay, so you're going to go one, two, boop, and you're going to reveal a level one and you found a hallway. So no new aliens. That's good. Hey. 
and then we are you want to tidy those up a little bit. Right. So we're going to get one new nemesis and this is going to go on E5. So E5. Look at that. It's right next to us. This is right. good. It's good. It's my about. turn. Nothing chasing me. I'm rolling a 4, a 3 and a 1. So I'm going to use the 3 to go over here. You want to pick um, up the energy I'm cube? sorry. I'm going to use my 1 to pick up the energy cube. So I'm going to activate my energy cannon. I'm going to use my three to move over here. And then I'm going to reveal a new area. This is the human battleship hallway. So this has one cube on it. No new aliens. And then I'm going to use my four to go into this one here. Get the tracker beacon. Nice. And then reveal one more. And I found mission control. Maybe one alien? Nope. It's level three. Nice. Yeah. And we get cube on that, cube on that, and then we get a Valerian on that, too. All right, so what's <laughs> our next uh, uh, nemesis? So card. we need a new nemesis. This is going on B7. B7. Okay, so we're going to have to start coming back up north soon, too. Okay. Nothing's chasing you, Josh? Nope. Okay. So what'd you roll? One, a four, and a four. Oh, okay. not bad. So I'm going to use that one to go north one. So you're going to remove that tracker beacon, flip a level two tile, and this is going to be Paradise Alley. So we're going to get three aliens. So All right. So I found a level one, a level two, and a level three. So the level three is going to go by. Got a level one bro. You got a bro. Strength of six. <laughs> uh, and then we have... Kodor Khan. Strength of eight. So this is the one you could Jeez. run away from. Yep. So can you kill the bro? Or I cannot. No? Oh, you can, but you'd have to use both of your dice. Yes. Oh, yeah, you haven't charged up your heavy weapon yet. Huh? Hmm. So I'm here. So you can start moving towards this one. I might undo that on my turn, and then I could help you take out one of your guys. I could maybe shoot the bro for you, because I've got my energy cannon activated. So I can get rid of this guy easily. <laughs> might just move in three spaces. Yeah. Yeah, he's what would I do with the other f four, though? So what's your mission? Your mission's a level three. We haven't revealed any level threes, yeah. though. I'm assuming you don't want to reveal a level three yet. No, not at the moment. <laughs> yeah, a little gun shy after that last one there. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe you want to move here? I'm going to move. Here? I'm going to go one, two, three. There. Why there? Because you can get the level two, clear it, clear the line there. Okay. And fight something, and I can see what's over here. So you got a human battleship green room. That's a one. So you got rid of your Kodor Khan. Yeah, Kodor Khan's gone. Uh, I pulled another level three, so nothing else jumps at me. So you get a new nemesis. This is going on C6. I still have that four left. Oh, you do? That's right. Whoopsie daisy. I'm going <laughs> to move into the corner. Okay. Just kind of reveal everything. So Just hoping for some energy. Moving but. into the corner, so you're revealing another human battleship green room. So another level one? Yes, I did find I found a bro store with three strength. Okay. So. Easy bro. Yeah, so, a lot of pros. So again, C6, this is going on. C6. So that we got a nice line of sight to that one. Yeah. So I'm not too worried. Oh, yeah. Not bad. So my turn to roll. I rolled a one, a one, and a six. So, so I'm going <laughs> to use one, one to go over here and reveal this level two. So this level two is the docks. That's for you then. But you already I don't resolved yours. I need that. You needed it before, didn't you? No, I needed <laughs> something else. I, th I don't know. No, it was the docks. Early in the game, it was the docks anyway. So you got a cube and then two mons, two aliens there. One's a level three, and you're going to get a pig whore. Pith, pig, pit gore? Pit gore, pit gore. Uh, so I can't move while he's there. Yes. So I'm going to be stuck over next to him. He's only a strength of two. So and since I have a one. Matt, you can still kill my yeah, both my guys. I'm going to kill both of your guys. Because you have the energy cannon. So that goes up to three. And then I got my six to kill the other bro. Yep. And then I'll get rid of your guy one on my turn. Nice. Okay. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right. You guys are best friends. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so and then we have a. The next nemesis. Oh, yes, the next nemesis is coming out. So we're getting a G5. G5. And look at where that is. That's oh, on right. my space. Ah. But he doesn't get it until next turn, right? 
Well, you still have to end a move there. So you still have to spend a die to end a move there, even if it's in your space. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So I would spend a die to say I'm moving zero spaces. Exactly. It sounds a little weird, but it basically means you're clearing, you know, you're clearing the area, essentially. Gotcha. So, Josh, what'd you roll? I rolled a one, two, and four. Okay. <laughs> you and your ones and twos. You might want to, you could possibly make it over here and clear that one out. Because if you don't clear any out now, there's five on the board. All right. I could also come to you. That's true, too. I wouldn't mind throwing in some energy, but, like... All right, I'm going to kill your guy. Okay. With my two. So, pit gore goes away. And then I'm going to spend my five to do movement to over here. Okay. So, I collect this one, and what do we get for the... Uh... So, you found yourself some mission control. So, there's an energy cube there. Finally. And there's going to be <laughs> one alien possibly going there. So we revealed a level two. So Junior does not come out and play. Junior. And thank you, Olive, Oliver the Great, for subscribing. Sweet okay. name. Okay, so then that's the end of your turn. We're going to draw a new nemesis. So we got Get Them. That's going on C5. C5. Hmm. So you got a friend right next to you. Okay. And it is going to be my turn, so I'm going to roll them dice. I rolled a one, a six, and a one. So you spend one of those ones to... Yeah, I'm spending one of my ones to not move anywhere. And <laughs> I'm going to clear out this tracker. Then I'm going to use... You hmm. could run over here to this level two if you wanted to. Hang out yeah, with me. I'm going to go run over to that level two there. And I'm going to get rid of that tracker token. And then I'm going to flip this guy over. So I found the docks. So reveal two, monst uh, two aliens, and there's going to be one energy cube on this bad boy. All right, and you got an enemy ship. And a bro. They both coming out to party. Three and four. All right. So that was my six that I spent to get over so there. So you can kill the, the ship uh, with your one. Yep, I sure can. And then I'm going to gain an energy cube when I do that. So I'm going to kill yeah. the ship with my one because I've got the energy cannon. So that goes away. And so the one thing I've got left is I've got a four strength bromosaur. So bro's still there to party. Okay. And you got zero tracking points, so that's pretty good. Uh, Yeah. So and so I got one of my two cubes on the reflex enhancer. So if we need an emergency turn, that's good if okay. I have that. And uh, what's our next nemesis? Our next nemesis is D1. So D1. All right. This is my turn. So what well, did you, you roll, Josh? 554. Five, Ooh. Well, you gained uh, some tracking points, it looks like, though, Josh. Is that a nemesis? Or no, is that no a it's a mission. Oh, geez. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's all right. You're right. Uh, so, Matt, what's your... It's a four? I have a four strength. I'll take that out. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, so you've got a five and a five left. So if you want to reveal this level three, that probably wouldn't be bad because I can do my mission there. I can also do my mission there. Oh, okay. If it's the throne yeah, let's, room, that'd let's be fantastic. Just oh, it is. Oh, it's the throne room. <laughs> oh, and it's got energy? It's got three energies. I need that to activate my heavy cannon. You sure do. That's plus gonna five to that. an attack. So gonna you're going to put your <laughs> three energies there, and you're going to have four alien bros. So you've got Junior, strength of seven. Okay. You've got Pithgore, strength of two. Okay. You've got Kodor Khan, strength of nine. Okay. And you've got another Junior, strength of five. And you still have one die left. I do. So what would you like to do with that one die? I want to pick up that energy. I really do. <laughs> but I will kill this junior instead. Okay. Because that seems the more responsible thing to do. <laughs> when do you do anything responsible? Hey, he's learning. A rookie cop is learning. <laughs> so end of your turn, we're going to go ahead and put one on F6. So F6. So I can get over there pretty easily, actually. Yeah, or you go over there, either or. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and roll. So I rolled a two, a two, and a four. Ugh, <laughs> garbage rolls. Um, um, and we're out of tokens? We are indeed out of tokens. So I am going to... Spend your four to go over here? No. Or over there? I'm going to go over here. Spend my four to go over here. I'm going to remove this token. Okay. And then I'm going to use... You can kill one of my guys. Yeah. So the question is... I can only kill the pit or can't I? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spend one of my twos to kill the pith gore. 
I got rid of something. Yeah. It's not great. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and use my other two to move back towards Josh. I'm going to okay. do that. And that's going to be the end of my turn there. So new nemesis is going to go on D6. D, look at that. Right where you are. <laughs> that's the second they time got, that's happened. They got your number there, man. Jeez. All right, so my turn. I have five points. So this track's going to go up for the first time. Feels mm -hmm. like the first time. So what you roll, Josh? <laughs> two, three, six. So if you use your two and pick up the cubes, you activate your heavy weapon. I can't kill them both, though. Why not? Because it's plus five to one of your attacks. So you can't. He he couldn't use his heavy weapon for both attacks. Then Ryan. Yeah. That's right. Just one of the attacks. Yeah. But if you do that, it's still not going to give you any tracker points until your next turn. So I can go ahead and shoot him next turn. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take these energy cubes. Okay. Bam! Activated. So you're gonna get plus five. I will kill this Kodor Khan. Kodor Khan with my wise. six. That's eleven. That's more than enough. And then I have a three left. I'm going to move up a spot yeah. and get this tracker. Nice. And so you're going to reveal a human battleship hallway. So it's just going to have a cube on it. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Yeah. So it is mm, uh, time to do a nemesis. So D5. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you got the tracker. It's going to go right next to me. Yeah. So this could be convenient. All right. So Matt, you need to roll at least a five. I rolled a one, a six, and a six. Okay. That was so a I'm going to use one of my sixes to go ahead and kill Junior. Okay. Sorry, Junior. Dang, man. He's getting beat up today. Then I'm going to use my one to stay where I am and remove this tracker. Okay. Then I'm going to use my six to move to the space next to me and remove that tracker. Okay. Dude. Is that, hold on. Is that what I want to do? No, I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to leave this one here, and I'm going to use my six to move here and reveal this. Oh. So I revealed a human battleship hallway. Maybe an alien's going to spawn. No alien. No alien. All right. So, so new nemesis. So new nemesis is spawning on E1. So we got E1 and D1. We're getting very convenient spawns. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so one, six, and a four. So one, six, four. What are you doing with those rolls? One to move there. I'll use this four. So you're completing Bam. your mission of take out the soldiers in the throne room, so it's going to get you six mission points. Whoa. That's that's a nice one. Yeah. There, Josh. 13 points. I get a new mission card. Uh, blue cube over here. And your new mission card is map the area for a whopping one point. <laughs> yeah, maps, you know. I got a six left. I need to get a token. Right. So, question is do I go here? I think I think you should go here because I'm going to reveal a bunch of stuff on okay, my turn. So I will go to the hangar, reveal this token, and where's the token going back on the board, Matt? Okay, so the token goes back on the board on <laughs> E4. E4. Oh, okay. this can be geez, You guys are getting lucky with this stuff here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to complain. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm rolling, and I rolled a four four two. Ooh. So I'm going to use my two to move one space this way and reveal a hallway. Right, Big scary there. hallway. <laughs> I'm then going to use a four to move over here onto this tracker token, remove that. And uh, I'm going to reveal a human battleship green room. Uh, level three. So, yeah, we're good. And so I'm going to use my last four to move down one spot. And cleaning up those tokens. I like it. And reveal a... Mission control. So maybe one alien? Nope. And that was what, a level three? Yeah, okay. that was level three. So there you go, a little energy cube. Um We're revealing a lot more of the map this time around. And I think it's yeah. very it's I like like just gameplay wise, it makes it a lot easier to take care of these tracker beacons. <laughs> Two, three, and a four. Now yeah, I'd say you guys learned the uh, game there. Two, three, four. <laughs> yep. Another straight. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't place new nemesis. Oh, I thought you did. Go. Um, uh, I'll reroll. V3. 
I got yelled at last Oh, night. no. That was Matt's fault, Josh. You can keep your 2 3 4. Oh, you just want better dice, don't you? Uh, 3 3 4. I, I, I plus one. Plus one? <laughs> All right. So we place another one here. So we've got doubles again over here if you want to work towards getting towards those. So to do a level one mission, I have to be on a level one spot or. Right. I, okay. It has to match the level of the tile. You can't just uh, go anywhere. Now, remember, if you get the level three, there are some of the aliens that force you to change up your mission. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? You have a token, right, for my turn? Uh, we do have one token, yeah. You could also go over here. That wouldn't yeah, be let's terrible just either. run into the room there. Okay. So you're going to run into that level two room, and you found the docks. So we're going to need two aliens and an energy cube. Well, I get one. Oh. And you got a bro. Five strength bro. Mm -hmm. um, he's Not dead. too bad. And you had one more die, so you can shoot him. Your I weapon had two dice. Oh, left. you did have two yeah. die? Oh, okay. I still have one more, so I still got this four left. Um, and then energy cube goes there. You can spend it to redeem for the energy cube. Yeah. Oh no, that that's got two energy cubes there. It's one energy cube. Yeah, oh, I was just it already had it was one. hit by the piece. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so you could pick that up and start working on getting the AI assistant if you want. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Unless you get to the better missions, especially so since you can see which tiles are already out there, you can see yeah. like what bonus rooms are. Yep. So new nemesis is going to go on A one steak sauce. Steak sauce. Okay. So my turn. Rolling, rolling. I rolled a one, a three, and a four. Hmm. Your mission's on a level three? My mission is on a level three. Why don't you come over here? <laughs> you guys are scared of them threes now. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four to reveal that level three mission. So that's one of my die. And that's going to be the gaseous land. No, he's back in the gaseous land. So we need three aliens, Josh. Two and level threes, Matt. Yay. <laughs> Are they nice? So what's their strength? Uh, six, nine, and one. Six, nine, and one. So I've got a, two, a one and a three left. So and I get four, plus, plus two, two to one of you them. You can kill this guy, which is destroy an enemy of five or less. And I can so get can, rid of the pith gore. Yep. So you can... Oh, the little guy gets squished. <laughs> so yeah, the, let's show off what I got. I got a level three Kodor Khan, strength of nine. Then I got Bulan with Thor, level three, strength six, with that lovely special ability. And then <laughs> I've got a... Pit Gore, uh, one strength, level one, but he huh. doesn't let me move, and that's mean. So I'm going to use my remaining two die to go ahead and kill Bulan Bathor, which is going to in turn kill the Pit Gore, and then I've just got my nine strength buddy chasing after me still. And that's gonna I, be I can take care of that for you, and it's just a second. The end of my turn. So we're going to place one on E6, which is super convenient because it goes right there. Awesome. And you're going to roll. So you rolled, oh, five, six, six. Wow, it finally uh, happened for you. How's it uh, feel, that's Josh? A, that's a it feels good. That's a nine. Feels I'll good. use this. I use the five, Matt, because that because kills the nine. I have the heavy weapon. And I blow it to nice. the All right. Now what are you doing? We need to get a token. Yeah, you got one right next to you. But you don't have to be convenient. You can go after one of the weirder ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can go over here, get that one, and then still be able to kill at least one of the aliens that show up. Yeah, it's just going to be far away from you. Like, I can't be your backup. You don't need to be my backup. There's no That's one attacking fine. me. It's okay. fine. Matt, oh. Matt's retiring in three days anyway. He'll be fine. Exactly. He just so, got a life insurance policy. He'll be fine. Ooh, Paradise Alley. You're going to get three. Okay. So, so you only get two, though, because one of them was level yep. three. Uh, so I got an enemy ship and a bro. So you got an enemy ship. So this is going to be when you, this enemy is destroyed, you gain an energy cube. And then a bromosaur, which is going to just five strength. Yep. So, so I'm going to use my six to kill the ship. I'm, yeah, I'm assuming you're killing the ship. Then you get another energy cube so you could activate your AI. Yep. And so I got a bro. It's only one, so it's not that bad. Yep. And Matt, it's your turn. It is or my it, turn. It's the nemesis. Oh, yeah, it's the nemesis part. So we're going to put one on G2. So G2. Starting to get inconvenient with the placing there. Yep. Don't like it. The bell so Matt, curve is taking over. Roll your dice. So all five are on the board, so I have to try and get rid of one. You get that one over there, the hanger. Yeah, that's true. That's an easy one. So I rolled a 4-4-3. Four, four, so you want to do your mission first? Uh, oh, that's right. I am on my mission. So I'm going to complete my mission with the three. 
So that is three victory points, three mission points. I get a new mission, and my new mission is Meet Underground Contact. This is a level two, and I get plus two if I complete it in Paradise Alley. Which I just found where you, you met. You did just find that. That's fantastic. So I am going... Nice. I have that there. I've still got two fours. You put your blue cube on that tile yeah. there. Too. And then you can go over here, collect that, and then you can come over to Paradise Sit ah, Alley. Let's do that. Alley. So I'm going to use one four to go over here. Resolve this, so I, I keep that. We're safe. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And I'm coming and chilling in Paradise Alley. Nice. So that would give us four victory points, mission points, and that would allow us to get to 20 and win. Okay. So it's my turn. I do have one baddie on me. You do. So, so Jack's going to go up by one. Darn you, Josh. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> no, I did not flip a mission. So E3. E3. Four four two. Four four two. Okay. All right. a lot uh, better. Well, we're gonna spend the two to destroy the bro. Come okay. on, bro. Dude, you had a good run. Him, you don't even have to get rid of him. I, I want to just get rid of him. Just I'm, I'm just saying, because look, if you go here, <laughs> you could go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, get that, then go chill on the airlock. Cause we could yeah. we could have both of us on the airlock and we'd still be being chased as long as we have 20 vi yeah. uh, mission points, right? That's correct. Okay. Did you? Are you still saying you killed your bro? Yes, I'm killing the bro. Okay. I don't like him. <laughs> so, end of your turn. We're putting one on C3. So, C3 is getting one. And then, my turn. Roll some dice. Oh, yeah, there is a Curtis Alley right there, too. That's fun. One, oh. two, four. Okay, turn, so I'm using finish. my one to complete my mission, and that is going to... Whoops, points. Get out. <laughs> that's going to give us four points. Get out, get and out. I, I drew a new mission, and this one gives me plus two if I do it in the submerged habitat. Yeah, you don't need missions anymore, though. Unless so you I, lose points from a nemesis or something. Two... Okay, so my issue here is I want to get rid of one of these tokens, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Um, yeah, there. I could go there. I would reveal some level two stuff, which might not be good. But so, what ends the game, Ryan? If we do this, or what's the? How do we lose parts? You lose uh, if the uh, if you, they get twenty tracking points before you guys get twenty mission points and get to the airlock. Okay, so so if any of these decks run out, we just reshuffle them. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, if any of the decks or the t or the yeah, if the, any of the decks run out, you lose as well. Okay. Oh, that alien deck's getting kind of thin. Yeah, there's seven aliens left. Yeah, you guys need to you guys need to get out. You've completed so, your missions. Should I go for that, or should we risk the nemesis? I don't want to risk the nemesis. You could get like thrown onto the other side of the map and then just be stuck. Yeah, the nemesis could do that. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to spend my two to go over here. Okay. So I'm going to reveal level one, and this is going to be the Battleship Green Room. So one alien. Um, you do get a bro, sir. Okay, so I get a bro. When this enemy starts chasing you, discard your mission and draw another one. He's got seven strength, by the way. So I get rid of my mission. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to get a new one, and this is map this area. So it's level one, just generic. It could. The only way it could matter is if some of the nemeses take points away, take your mission points away. So that's the only way it might matter at this stage. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, so then I'm going to use my four to jump into this one here, remove this uh, beacon token there, and I revealed the submerged habitat. So two energy cubes and two aliens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what two aliens are coming to the party? Uh, level two. Uh, another brosaur and a junior. So I got a six strength bro masaur <laughs> and I got a seven strength junior. All right, my turn. It is oh, your no. turn. Oh no, we get it. We get a nemesis there. So this one's going on F seven. F seven. Okay. So what did you roll, Josh? One, two, and a five. One, two, five. That's atrocious. So you can go there. Yeah, I was thinking. I'll, I'll, I'll use my two. Go here. Okay. Oh yeah, nice. So you get that. You revealed a human battleship hallway. No new aliens. Oh, no new aliens. Sorry. Cube goes there. Oh, that was lucky. Did you only have, what, three cards left in the alien deck? Four cards? Yeah, four. Uh, four cards? Yeah, wait. Yeah. Uh, so I would suggest you just go run back home to the airlock. Yeah, I think you guys are in pretty good shape. 
You don't need to kill the aliens. I, I, I kind of want to. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm gonna do it. I just, I just, there, there's an urge and a need. You're gonna get to us kill all killed, son. <laughs> but I'll go to the airlock. <laughs> and I'll fire my heavy weapon in the air and be sad <laughs> that there's no aliens there. No! <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna put that last tracker on C4, Josh. C4? Right there. It's tempting me. Now don't it's roll three me. ones. That's all you gotta do, Matt. Do not roll triple ones. Oh, don't say that. I mean,. There's he no way could, he could ones, cut right? through it. I mean, God himself couldn't make you roll three ones, right? It's just that. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, okay. so I rolled five, five, three. Oh, so, you're good to go then. Well, wait, Josh, before you do that, okay. I, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kill Junior because I wanted to kill one more Junior. <laughs> so I'm going to spend one of my fives to kill Junior. <laughs> and then... Wait, you uh, just gave Josh crap for not wanting to kill for wanting to kill aliens. And now you're yeah, oh, okay. I wanted to rub it in his face, really. And then I'm going to well, use my remaining movement there. So I've got a five and a three left. I'm going to use that to move into the airlock uh, with my five, and then with my three, I'm going to shoot my weapon into the air too. In celebration, though, as we've made it to the airlock with 20 mission points, and we win this time. We've got yes. sweet, sweet redemption. That was, that was a lot better last time. <laughs> we did it. You guys have learned from your, your your previous. That was the training mission anyway. It was just yeah. a simulation, the first one. This was actually a live live mission, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's get back to the main cam here, Ryan. Thank you so much for joining us. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about about this game? Maybe uh, what were some of the difficulties that you saw during the game design for this? Some of the challenges that you had to overcome with the design. Uh, really, the uh, the. The, any, I believe that any uh, co-op game needs solid time pressure, uh, and if there's no time pressure, then you, there's not, you know, it just feels like you're, oh, okay, I'm just kind of going around doing this stuff, and so it, I really wrestle a lot with that, and that's where the uh, tracking beacon system kind of came from, was that that kind of wrestling through the time pressure, uh, uh, and it, I, I'm really tickled how it how it folded, unfolded there because the the tracking beacons just make you split your energy between accomplishing your missions and keeping those tracking because those nemesis cards are mean. Yeah. And so it really, it really does a nice job. I feel of kind of creating that feeling of like, you know, we're running around the base. We're trying to, you know, trying to, Oh, but we got to keep them off our tail. And it really kind of felt thematic in that way. But that, that was the breakthrough. I think in that design, I had pretty early come up with the tile placement idea and the dice rolling thing, I thought was a lot of fun. I, that was one of the first mechanics I'd come up with for that, as you roll three dice and kind of spend them to do things. But it was really when I came up with the uh, tracking beacon mechanic that the the game I think really kind of took off and and was a, a lot more fun after that. So, yeah, that was uh, that was a fun one to work on, and it's a fun. I mean, I I wanted to play with you guys. Like I was watching this <laughs> game, going, "Man, I want to I want to play. I want to roll some dice." And I have to play. I haven't played this game uh, for a couple weeks. I've got a kind of a regular playtest group, uh, and I brought and they had playtested uh, Valyrian with me, and so I brought them their copy, and so we kind of busted open and played with like the nice. I mean, the the, the components in this game, they did a great job with the components. They're all yeah. pre-punched, which blew my mind, man. Pre-punched tiles and like just really cool stuff. Uh, and so yeah, it was uh, yeah. So I, I was pretty pleased with how that one came out. So, Josh, you have any questions for Ryan before we say goodbye to him for the evening? So, so, Ryan, what are you working on now? Can you tell us? A, bu a bunch of stuff I can't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm very excited to. Now, I did get to work on, uh, if you go to my website, I've got, uh, it's uh, ryanmillergames.com. Uh, there's kind of a, a current current releases kind of thing, uh, and new new releases, uh, upcoming releases kind of thing. And I, so I got to work on, if you guys have played Betrayal at uh, House on the Hill, I worked on the, the legacy version of that. So that's kind of uh, okay. the legacy thing there. I worked on Axis and Allies and Zombies. That one was pretty fun to work on. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, but uh, a bunch of other stuff that uh, I'm, I'm really excited to uh, talk about at some point, but that's kind of the life of a, of a working game designer is you got all these exciting things and, and you're like, oh, can I talk about it? I don't, I don't know. Can I? Oh, geez. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, but yeah. So there you go. Awesome. Anything else, Josh? No, I had fun. Um, I, I had a lot of fun. Again, well, thank you so much for joining us, Ryan. We really do appreciate it. And thank yeah. all of you for watching at home. We're going to jump into our first impression session where we talk about our favorite aspects of the game, any constructive criticisms we have, and then finally, the most important question of the evening, would we play it again? Uh, but otherwise, stay tuned for that. Signing off for now, though, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Thanks again, Ryan. Thanks, guys. Yeah.